everybody get understand. I mean, it, it's, it's like it it is the tar baby that won't turn loose. It's a seven day a week job, right? But I love it. I mean, I get energized by it. I love going to the restaurants. My kids now get it. They love it. They can't stand not being there. It's a fun business. You're interacting with people all the time. You get to do fun stuff. You get to see people. You get to make a difference in people's lives. So, um, so why do you why do you get in business? And I, you know, one of the things that is so important for me is a mission statement. Why do you have to have a mission statement? share a quote you don't have to moderation is for cowards moderation is for cowards okay okay so why would y'all have a personal mission statement why does a company have a mission statement to keep well why do they why do they force everybody to learn their mission statement just to let them know like where you come from where you're coming from Everybody on the same page. Why else? I, what, the end goal? what the end goal is. I mean, it's pretty important, right? The values of your company as well. The values of your company. I think so. What you will say yes to, and what you'll say no to. And with every yes, what happens? With every yes, you every yes answer you're doing. What else are you saying? You're saying no. You, you're definitely saying no. And so I wrote down these because uh, these aren't mine, and I'll tell you my mission statement in a minute. What is Starbucks' mission statement? Anybody know? It says to inspire and nurture the human spirit. It's not about the coffee. It's not about the coffee. It's to inspire and nurture the human spirit. Disney. To entertain and inspire through the power of unparalleled storytelling. Coke, to refresh the world in mind, body, and spirit. So none of those had to do with the beverage or the food or whatever, but it had to do with something bigger. Because when people are coming in our restaurants or our hotels or our events or wherever we are in this work business we're in, they're coming in for an experience, right? And the second they walk through the doors, the second they walk through the doors, they taste your product before they taste your product. The second they walk through the door, they've enjoyed your lodging before they've enjoyed your lodging. The second they walk through the door, they've seen your catering. And how do they do that? It's because how we greet them, right? It's, it's how they're presented. And I can promise you that if somebody walks through my door and nobody says hello to them and they're grumbled to and they come walk through and then they get some food and they eat that food, they're going to have a comment about our food that's not near as good as if they were greeted warmly, smiled to incredibly, and asked how the food was every time, every time. So it's amazing how that works. So, um, so here's my mission statement. Pretty easy. Make, make every guest smile. Make every guest smile. It's easy. I want people to remember this thing. I really want people to remember this thing. So I think the question was asked of me, you know, and who hadn't gotten their cookie yet or brownie yet? 
You want your cookie and brownie? Come on, come come here and get your cookie and brownie. Come on. Uh, anybody else who wants something, we'll just come on and get it. Come on. Uh, so, who is the guest? I want y'all to tell me who the guest is. Look, when you can't get any cookie until you tell me who the guest is. Customer. The customer's a guest. You can have one. Okay. All right. The guest. The guest is the customer. Who else is a guest? I agree with you totally. Who else is a guest? Anyone who you're representing your company to at all. All right. Who else is a guest? Yes. People who are interested in insuring. Yeah. So what I say is the guest for our company is the people that walk through the door. They're our employees. They're our guests. we got to make them smile. If we don't make our guests, our internal guests smile, you think they're going to make the external guests smile ever? It's never going to happen. If I am screaming at you and going, get this right, you're not going to do that. You can't. It's a, it's a, it's a messed up logic of how we're going to run a restaurant or a company. We've got to make sure our internal guests are happy. All right? Who else is the guest? This, this is where... This is where employees blow it. This is where employees blow it. The investors. The investors are the guests, okay? So when I'm telling this to my people and I'm having a meeting, I'm saying, we gotta make our guests smile. And they're going, oh yeah, how do you do that? Oh, we say hi to them. No, no, no. So how do you make the investor smile? Huh? Profit. That's, that's why they invested, right? And so, what is a restaurant? What is a restaurant? The four walls of what is it? Is a restaurant just a place to make food? What is a restaurant? It's a business that happens to serve food. And, and what are they trying to do at the business? They're trying to make money, right? And if they don't make money, what happens? It, it closes, right? So, so it's, it's, employees blow this all the time because they don't understand that that's our guest. And if we don't keep that guest satisfied, we never get anybody satisfied. So, um, so kind of the, the thought process to me is how do, how do we make a profit in the restaurant business? And I'm going to put this down and just talk, but how do we make a profit in the restaurant business? Everybody know? Have y'all been through enough classes that you get it yet? Okay. So what are the biggest expenses in the restaurant business? Employees. People. Okay. I agree with that. It's people and what else? People and food. People and food are the two biggest expenses that we have in the restaurant. Bar none. Bar none. And the big and the biggest thing is training. Biggest cost is training. If, if we don't train them well, they won't stay. So, do y'all do y'all want to know? So I can go more into the expenses and the financial side of the restaurant business if that's important to you, uh, or I can go into that may be kind of you're not you're not there yet or don't not interested in that. I can tell you about how to open, how I opened my restaurant, and how we, how we financed it, and how we created LLCs and that side of it. So I want to, leave, I'm going to give it to the floor for you guys to help me tell you what you want for the last few minutes here. And I think we've got, let me see what time it is. Yeah, we've got, we've got 15 minutes or so. So I'll let you guys ask me some questions, and I'll just answer kind of on the fly. I'm, I'm wide open about whatever you guys want to. Uh, want to ask me the one thing I would say the number one thing in every business this is the last thing I'll, what is the number one thing in every business the most important thing in every business most the absolute 100% most important thing make money. well to make money 
that's a byproduct. That's gonna that will happen if other things happen. Okay. You have the drive in your vote. All right. I think yes and yes, but the most important thing. How many businesses? How many how many employees are at Hilton? Uh, it's about thirty two hundred hotels. So we multiply that. I would say minimum for the smaller hotels of uh, three hundred to thousand. Okay, the house, okay. So what's the most important thing? The reputation. What's the most important for thing for them to execute every single hilt in the same way? Consistency. What's the most important thing to get consistent? Training. What's the most important thing to training? Communication. We, we have to learn to be wonderful communicators. And a lot of times we're not. I'm not. A lot of times we, we think the person understands what we're saying. We give them half-baked answers instead of fully, uh, fully thought-out answers. But we got to make sure we're great communicators. So anyway, I, I, I was reading Danny, Danny Meyer. I don't know if y'all any of y'all know who he is. He's a great restaurant guy. And he talks about communications everything, everything. So and I, I completely believe that. So, all right. So I want to add. I want to. You guys to ask me any questions you want to ask me, and I will. I will answer them and give y'all some. Stay, stay with the people. I mean, you, you, now we have you have um, uh, as well as the manager. We have the millennials. Yes. And the 